Hello and welcome to jQuery for Designers. My name is Remy Sharp and this is the second episode of 2009. Yes, we are trying to put out more episodes out a month, so uh, keep on the RSS feed and you should get all the, uh, the episodes they come out. So this episode is uh, part of our Play School series and it's for beginners and it's an introduction to the Ajax features within jQuery. So jQuery has um, some very easy to use um, Ajax functions within it and if you want to get down to the nitty gritty of Ajax then uh, it makes it very easy to do. However, if you want something to get started with that's quick and easy to use, jQuery has the dot load function which literally does an Ajax hit, grabs the the HTML that comes off your server and just dumps it straight into the page. So I've set up a little example to show you um, how that would work. So here's my my example. Okay, we're searching for fonts uh, by name. Uh, there's no JavaScript on this page. It's just a um, a straight search a search form. So I type in Times, and I get two results: Times and Times New Roman. Now here's our form. The action being um, the, the same URL. Um, our inputs. <coughs> And the results are down here, so I'm echoing out this PHP variable because it's a um, server-side script, and I, I it can actually handle real searches. So, just at the top here, I've put the uh, the PHP in line. Now, yours, your pages, you know, might, it might be written by yourself or might be managed by someone else, but they'll probably be separate. Um, and I just say if we've had if we uh, had the variable posted through, connect to my database. Um, Sanitize the, uh, the the string and do the, do this this query that says find fonts that start with the the pr variable that we sent through, and then if there are no rows, we just say nothing was found for and what they searched for. And if there were rows, we just loop around each one of them here, and we create this HTML variable that contains just an li element and the name. Okay, so that's dropped down here. So what we're going to do is, on this page, when the user presses a key, so T, we're going to do an Ajax hit to this to this URL, and we're going to grab the the cont the the result and drop it straight into here. So the first thing I'm going to do, just just for this the beginning part of this example, is at the end of my uh, my search. I'm just going to echo HTML and exit. Okay, so if I just quickly show you what that looks like, if I resend, if I just do the source, let's do a five up. No, that's not true, is it? Right, so that's all that's come back. Okay, so if there's no search, um, if there's if there's no search being made we just skip this whole if statement in which we do the echo. Now, let's add in jQuery and when the document is ready we're going to bind to this this input element and say on key up do the uh, the, the search. So. Ah, right. The thing we start with is where we want the the result to go, the the Ajax result to go. So we want it to go into this UL. So I'm going to say results UL dot load, and then load example dot PHP. Okay, I'm not going to pass in a parameter for the for the second, but um, you should be able to see this working straight away. No, you can't. Right, so what's this done? Oh, it's loaded the actual... Right. So, uh, immediately, instead of on key up, it's it's doing that Ajax hit. So you can see it there. Because I forgot to bind. So, name dot key up. Better. 
Now, as soon as I do a character, you can see an Ajax hit happening there, but it's putting the whole result in, which is wrong. Now, the reason it's wrong is because I'm not passing in the uh, this this name parameter. So the next variable. So we're passing in this name parameter, and it's uh, this dot value. So at the moment, this, the keyword this, is the input element. I'll just quickly comment this out. This dot value. You can see. Yeah. That's the value of this dot value. It's worth noting, if you look at the jQuery documentation, um, if you call dot .load with no parameters, it does a get on uh, on your, your, your script. If you call it with a parameter like this, it'll do a post. So that's why in my PHP I'm looking for a post. So let's try this out. And there you can see it does does put the results in. You can see my Ajax hits going on here, so if I just expand these out, you can see post it's sending off AR, which is what we had up here, and the response is is this block of code. Now obviously the problem is that that works, but the problem is when I click on submit, it breaks up page. So there's a couple of things I can do here. The first thing is, and this is probably the cleanest, I can check in my PHP if this has been requested using uh, Ajax. <coughs> so I can do if, now every Ajax hit through, uh, through the li I think all the libraries at the moment send this header um, HTTP X requested with now if that's set I'm going to echo out the HTML and exit this means that it's an Ajax hit and not a uh, normal browser hit so if I just click on search you can see that works And if we just check our Ajax hit, load the response, we can see that it's it's correctly saying that uh, it to just show the uh, the HTML that we rendered. And if you look at the headers in Firebug, you can scroll down and see yeah uh, there it is X requested with. Okay, the other way that we could do it is we could send the whole page back. And a really nice feature of um, of load as of uh, jQuery 1.2 is we can have a selector at the end here, so I can put a selector here. So I know that the results are down here. I can do results ul. Okay, so that's going to load in this PHP file, the the, the load example script, and it's going to run a selector for this this particular uh, element and return the results into this. If I show you that. Okay. So the response is the entire DOM and it's given me just the, the ones I'm interested in, I think. Yeah, so I actually want to request the LIs, not the UL. Just refresh that. There you go. That's super easy Ajax. Okay, if you have any questions um, or requests, drop a comment on the jQuery4designers.com website. Um, and hopefully uh, next week or the week after, I will be looking at, or I will be looking at, um, hooking up the spy 
uh, example we did to AJAX requests and uh, adding the pause and unpause features that people were asking about. All right, thanks for watching.